Take notes as you watch this video and test your knowledge by taking the quiz at the end. Today, we're embarking on an adventure to the land down under, Australia, to discover the wonders of one of its most celebrated native animals, the kangaroo. Being native to this continent means that kangaroos aren't naturally found in the wild anywhere else on Earth. Although they're definitely a crowd favourite in zoos and nature parks worldwide. Kangaroos are marsupials, a unique class of mammals whose defining characteristic is their pouch, where their young, called joeys, continue to develop after birth. This remarkable evolutionary trait is shared by other Australian marsupials such as the cuddly koalas, the burrowing wombats and the elusive Tasmanian devils. Each of these creatures plays a crucial role in Australia's ecosystems and they all share the common feature of marsupial motherhood, nurturing their offspring within a protective pouch. But of all the marsupials, Kangaroos are perhaps the most iconic, embodying the wild spirit of the Australian outback. Kangaroos belong to a family of animals called Macropodidae, a name which means large foot, a fitting description for the planet's largest hopping animals. With their powerful hind legs and sizeable feet, they traverse the vast outback with remarkable efficiency and agility. This evolutionary design allows kangaroos to reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, about 37 miles per hour, making them adept at covering wide distances in search of food and water. Their robust muscular tails serve as essential counterbalances in their locomotion, offering stability and support that's critical during rapid movement or when browsing for grasses. As kangaroos bound across the Australian landscape, their tails act in concert with their legs, fostering a pendulum-like rhythm that enables their signature hop. Kangaroos, as herbivores, have a refined palate for the vegetation of their native grasslands, where they consume a diet consisting mostly of plants and grasses. These adept grazers are selective feeders, often choosing the freshest and most succulent greens available. This discernment ensures that their intake is not only nutrient-rich, but also water-efficient, an essential trait for survival in the often arid Australian landscape. Remarkably adapted to their environment, kangaroos are able to minimise their water consumption by extracting the maximum amount of moisture from the vegetation they consume. Adaptation is the name of the game when it comes to these remarkable creatures. The harsh Australian sun can be unforgiving, but kangaroos have their unique ways of coping with the extreme heat. You'll often see them resting in shaded areas to escape the midday sun, using their saliva to lower their body temperature as they spread it over their skin. They also exhibit behaviour like digging into the ground to uncover and lie on the cool, damp earth beneath the hot surface. But life isn't just about survival for these marsupials. It's also about social connections. Kangaroos thrive in groups, known as mobs, where there is safety in numbers and where complex social hierarchies are navigated with kicks and bouts of boxing. Yup, these creatures can be fierce, with males, often called boomers, clashing in spectacular displays of strength and agility to establish dominance. Within the kangaroo family, there is a surprising array of species, each with its own quirks and habitats. The eastern grey kangaroo is a familiar sight in the eastern forests and farming lands, known for its soft grey coat and often found in large groups called mobs. Then there's the red kangaroo, the largest of them all, with a stunning red-brown coat a fixture of the arid central plains and deserts where it roams across vast open spaces. 
not to be overlooked, the western grey kangaroo is somewhat smaller and has a distinctive face with a pronounced black and white pattern. They are a common sight in the southern parts of Australia, often spotted in woodlands and scrub. There are over 60 species of kangaroos in total, each uniquely tailored to thrive in the varied ecosystems across the Australian continent, demonstrating the incredible adaptability of the kangaroo lineage. Other members of the Macropodidae family are often mistaken for kangaroos due to their similar body structure and hopping movements. These relatives vary in size, habitat and physical characteristics. Wallabies are smaller than kangaroos and found in more forested or rugged terrains. They have a more compact build with proportionally shorter legs and thicker bodies. Wallaroos are larger than wallabies, but smaller than kangaroos, with a stocky build and typically inhabit rocky, arid regions. Patamelons are small, forest-dwelling macropods with short, thick tails seen in the forests of Tasmania and eastern Australia. Tree kangaroos, unlike their ground-dwelling relatives, live in the rainforests of Queensland and New Guinea with adaptations for an arboreal life including stronger forelimbs. Quokkas are small macropods known for their round faces and friendly demeanour found mainly on Rottnest Island in Western Australia. Betongs, also known as rat kangaroos, are small rat-like creatures that may be mistaken for a rat or small wallaby due to their compact size. As the golden sun sets on the Australian horizon, it paints the perfect backdrop for the kangaroos that bound effortlessly into the encroaching dusk. This simple yet profound moment captures the essence of these incredible creatures, a daily testament to their place in Australia's wild heart. And as they disappear into the sunset, they leave behind a sense of wonder, a reminder of the wild beauty that bounds across this ancient land.
Don't forget to subscribe.